All right, so uh, what's good, y'all? It's Trey. <clears throat> Today I'm gonna be going over a couple of things. Um, I know Solitary wanted me to teach him how I do my slow motion, and uh, the boy. The homie Chris, No Limit Chris, gave me a couple ideas of what I should do for content on my channel. And uh, he basically said, like, just go over. I mean, just let me know in the comments, like, if would, would I like for me to go over all of the ads I've done for J Dub, Combo Kills, uh, Jabari, and I got, and like, I think there was a mix I did for Kino and the group people he played with. Just let me know if y'all want me to go over those like mixes and stuff in the comments and everything. But as for today, I'm just going to make a quick tutorial on my slow motion. And yeah. Let me get this off the screen. So, alright, so my slow motion i don't really know why it's so smooth sometimes <laughs> it's just it is what it is i want to just i just find a clip or something okay so this is the clip it starts like right here And sorry if you can hear my brother in the background. He has friends over. So this is the clip. So seconds. And say you want it to like slow mo like right when he wants to do this right here. So you can do slow mo in two ways. This is the way that I normally do it when I want to do slow motion. I uh I go to where I want to go to slow mo. I split the clip, right click, and go to time. And there is this option that ca that's called time stretch. You want to click that, and this stretch factor goes by one hundred. So say if you want to slow the clip down, like half, like times two, you type in two hundred. I like to do like two fifty. And as you notice, it extends the time of the clip because it's slowed down. So now it's slow, but that's not only what you want to do to it. You want to uh, either right click, go to blending, although not blending mode, frame blending, and go to pixel motion. It's also going to show up right here. You can do this pixel motion. It comes out twice as smooth. And another thing, uh, since this clip is 720, 30 frames per second, uh, you can drop the uh, FPS to 24 FPS and it should help with the slow motion as well. Cause I know 24 FPS. Two seconds. It's, it's kind of, see it's really smooth to 24 FPS. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, to be honest. And I mean, you can do whatever you want to with the slow motion. But yeah, that's a oh yeah. And I'm show you the other way that I do slow motion. Let me just redo everything. The other way you can do slow motion is by velocity. So what you want to do is you either want to hit Control Alt T to pull up time remap. And as you can see, it keyframed the end of it. What you want to do is keyframe the beginning and like keyframe to where he's going to jump and highlight F9 and then go to right here to graph editor. And you can, you can kind of already see to where it's speeding up and slowing down. Ten seconds. 
yeah, that's that's not good at all. But I mean, you can do this. Make it like play normally. So seconds. This is why I don't really use a uh, velocity because it's kind of weird. It's not. It's just more complicated than the other way. Go a little up and a little down on it. No. I guess down. Just a little. Make it slower. Cause when the thing with graph editor is when something is like straight. That means it's going to be in slow motion. And. Mm, like I said, I don't use graph editor unless I'm doing a velocity edit, and I don't really do velocity edits anymore, to be honest. Because they're kind of. It's not weird. It's just not my style, I guess. But yeah, that's the two ways of doing slow motion I would recommend just sticking to uh, just time remapping it time stretching it 250 put this little frame bending thing on it and then yeah got slow motion but yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial just let me know in the comments if y'all want me to go over like just do like an entire breakdown of my previous of edits that I've done in the past and yeah, peace out.